got a good taste. Hey guys, Emo used to be banned in almost every single match when he was first introduced to the game, and there was a good reason for that. He was really overpowered back then. But after he received several nerfs one after another, he's really peaked now. But finally in the latest update, they decided to buff him. That's why I decided to see how well Emon can do after the buff in this current meta. It seems that we had a miscommunication at the start of the game and now nobody is in the top lane. In this situation, it's either Natalia or Cyclops top. That's why proper communication is so important. A lot of Nana players tend to have a false sense of security just because of her passive, but it's actually very easy to chase her down if she's out of position. Despite the early game mishap, my teammates are doing fairly well, but I guess that was bound to happen after getting extremely inexperienced teammates 4 games in a row. Even though my buffs are up, getting a kill here will be a lot more beneficial. No need to use my ult here because he's 100% dead. Paquito already used his full combo, no need to be scared of him anymore. Same here, Gushion just used his full combo, I shouldn't have any trouble killing him now. Gotta keep moving around and make sure I don't get called by their CC. Emu is quite squishy.
My goal is simple. To break the curse. An enemy has been path. slain. Attack the turret. <laughs> Oof, that cyclone thingy messed up the whole thing. I have no tolerance for betrayal. Robed, I'm Duke Paxton. Cloaked, I'm Linda Hale. Young man. He probably could have killed me there, but he got the cold feet. Regard me as a shadow. Gushion does have a little burst damage. It's time to get Winter Tronchon just to be safe. I have to wait for a good opening before engaging. I will try to snipe one and then retreat right away. Gotta keep repositioning and not be too obvious with my movement. I was actually quite surprised at the amount of damage Emon dealt here. I guess his damage is not too bad after all. It's really important that I don't get hit by any other CC skills. One misstep and they could burst me instantly. Gato is really trying his hardest to catch me. Emo is not the OP hero he used to be, but doesn't mean he's completely useless now. 
He is still a pretty decent pick for certain team compositions, and if you know how to engage and disengage at the right timing, he is definitely still a very solid hero. Victory! Anyway, that's it for now. See you in the next video.